Greetings and welcome to this Factoria tutorial where we talk about which planets to go in which order. Now after you build your base on Novice, you are going to be given the choice of three different planets. And those are, we have Vulcanus, Gleba, and Fulgora. Later, you're going to unlock Aquilo, but not until you've visited each of these because they provide their own science in order for you to unlock Aquilo. Now the very first place I like to go to is Fulgora. Do check out my tutorial on what to pack for each of these planets. I have several different tutorials on that that you can see and why you want to take certain things. Now, Fulgora. Uh, it may seem like it has little to offer, but it really does make a huge difference, the items you get. The main item is the mech suit, which is this little thing, which you can fly over everything with. This is quite convenient. You can fly over buildings, over water, over lava, over cliffs, and it makes your life generally easier. So that is kind of the most important thing you can get from Fulgora. The other important thing is all of these recycled materials that are high, high level items that you get from basic scrap recycling here. So I've heard people say, oh, I want to go to Vulcanus first because you get the foundries and you get a lot of material there. Well, you can ship blue circuits, steal any of this stuff and its derivatives from, uh, from Fulgora to anywhere you need it. So that's really not a big concern uh, in terms of material usage. Um, when we go to Vulcanus, which is going to be next, you'll see why you want the mech suit. Look at these cliffs, these nasty looking ankle tripping foot breaking cliffs right here. Oh, when we um, did uh, a map, my, my partner and I, Matthias, we, he was like, oh my God, I don't even know how to get up to this area because there was such a zigzag of cliffs to get to a specific, um, I think it was the, the volcano center where we had our uh, foundries located. But it was a maze. And that is why I really like the mech suit to be able to jump over these cliffs without any problems whatsoever at all. Not only that, but fighting worms in all of this lava as well. You can jump over the lava. You don't have to snake around. Look at this thing. This big lava pool, you'd have to go all the way around. And lava you can't go through. Absolutely can't go through. So you, it's kind of a mess. It's really rough without a mech suit. So that's why I always would want to go to Fulgora first. So Vulcanus has really cool items. They are called foundries. And these foundries have a native 50% productivity bonus to them. Without any modules at all, they have a 50% productivity bonus. They're pretty cool. Um, these guys will generate tons and tons of stone, which you can actually tip back into the lava, which is kind of nice. Um, so not only do you get the production on the lava and with calcite, you also get it on your plates and gears and steel. You can also do low density structures as I have over here, copper wire, um, and pipes as well. You can do, um, these can also be transported to novice where instead of lava, they will take a regular ore. So you can get those productivity bonuses on the ore and then again on the plates and, and other things that you can make. Now the miners are the other special item. And I think I have a few, there's some in this coal mine, which have already run out. But uh, the special thing about these guys is that they reduce the resources by, uh, they have a 50% drain. So your resources are gonna last twice as long, which is really, 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 really nice. Um, they cover a large area, as you can see the AOE here, and you can space them out as you like or put them to together closer for more uh, throughput on your lines. These can also be imported to different planets, but they have to be made here on Vulcanus. So Vulcanus, definitely the second planet I would go to. They are super, super handy. So now the third planet I'd go to is Gleba. And the reason I go here third is because of the long spin-up time, as in it takes a long time to get stuff going because you have farms and the farms grow trees and the trees take time to grow. And setting this up, I feel like Gleba is the most complicated planet because there are many, many, many new items you have to learn immediately. Like, for example, 
how to process the jelly nut. So we have how to process jelly nut. Then we process the Yumako over here. Now the products of both of those go into this stuff called Bioflux. And then you can convert Bioflux into nutrients, but you can also convert spoilage into nutrients. And every one of these green machines, those are the um, bio chambers and those need nutrients to function. It's like a burner fuel, the nutrients. Um, and so you have all of these special, special items that need to be learned immediately. And then you have also trying to get these sort of oil products from biomaterials. And then the idea of getting ore from bacteria. The bacteria also, they need uh, bioflux and the bacteria. And these are the bacteria starters. They need jelly, uh, which makes uh, bacteria and spoilage. So there's a lot of complicated processes going on. Not only that, but you have to capture um, egg rafts from the enemies, which I don't see any over here. I think I just must have gotten rid of all of them. Uh, for now and um, so anyway those things require the pentapod eggs in order to craft you have to craft the agricultural tower so I feel like they really threw a lot of us a lot of stuff at us at once with Gleba it is brain breaking when you first get here um <laughs> Matthias refused to come to Gleba because he's like, he's like, that sounds like hell. And um, I was like, no, but you can help me. It'll be less hell for me. And he's like, nope, more hell for you. And I'm like, no. Um, but anyway, you can actually multiply the pentapod eggs with these um, bio chambers by feeding it nutrients. And so one egg turns into two, which is kind of convenient. And, you, and those actually reset the timer on the spoilage. Whereas every other process, they take in items that are starting to spoil and they, when they return them out, they have the same spoilage timer. Um, but eggs reset. So as long as you have one of these running, you should be able to get that without having to kill too many enemies. The science is kind of the last end stage item you make from this where you do need the bioflux and pentapod eggs in order to make the science beakers. And uh, because stuff spoils, including science, um, I recommend bringing all the science to Gleba. As in import everything you need to import um, and make everything that you can make. Uh, I do have red and green science here. I think I made, or I was gonna make blue and gray science as well. I don't remember if I actually set that up on this particular save, um, but that is kind of the goal. You wanna set up as much as you can here. Um, keep in mind that you can also make other sciences on other planets. Like, you know, uh, production science is pretty iron heavy. You can actually make that on Vulcanus, for example. Um, and I have a special science transport. This is all this does. It goes to the different planets and see how much science is in here. It's like tons. Um, and it picks it up from different planets. As you see, we have the metallurgic science plaque from Vulcanus. Orange, you know, kind of goes with the lava. Pink from, um, from Fulgore. That's electromagnetic science. And those all end up on Galeba. Um, and then when you pick these up, if you decide to pick up these things from different planets, be sure to pick which planet you want to pick it up from, because that tells the ship where you want that to come from. And then, of course, you end up on Gleba with choosing the, um, the cargo hub here, cargo landing pad, and assigning that science requester with, uh, with this. So, um, yeah, I would bring all the science here, and then because, as I said, the the green science can spoil. There is green science in here, but it does have a timer. It does it does have an hour timer, but if you don't have this set up correctly, if you start using belts, for example, or other things, you're going to have a very short timer. I remember my first batches of science when I started this planet were like, they had like one minute left or two minutes left. And so it's like, oh no, I can't get it to novice in time. So I decided to move the entire science stuff to here. You'll also notice something very special here about science where I am actually taking spoilage out and putting it into boxes out of every single lab because it's needed. Okay, oops, I, I messed that one up. Looks like I, I shouldn't have this in here. That's not good. 
Um, but yeah, this is, this is needed because otherwise the labs do not function if they have spoilage inside. So anyway, um, that is the order of the planets that I would do. And once you have unlocked all of those, you will get the science to go to the icy landscape of Aquilo. And I've been doing this, these tutorials for so long today, I kind of ran out of fuel on this planet. So you can see everything has iced up because there's nothing in here. So sad times for me, but it will get going uh, one day soon. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this journey through which which planets I feel like you should do first. Um, also, one thing on Gleba that you can keep in mind, which I forgot to mention, sorry about that, is that we get epic quality stuff and, and stack inserters. However, I feel like you don't need stack inserters until you have the um, forgery, or f forgeries, <laughs> the foundries from Vulcanus. So you don't actually need those until you have the big production. Um, and epic quality is super nice, but not really needed. Uh, it's okay. I think, I think I would save that. So Gleba last and then afterwards have fun on Aquilo, the crazy icy place. Anyway, to support my work and my little kitties, do please check out that link to Patreon. I so, so appreciate your financial support. It it literally makes me have a life. Um, I have migraines 24-7 uh, and it's really difficult to, to do anything but YouTube. So I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.